Welcome to the flowerschool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to share with you a foraged autumn Bespo style centerpiece. Autumn is perfect for Bespo. There's so many wonderful things. You just go for a walk, see what you can forage, and add it to your flowers. As a professional florist, we are so lucky to have wonderful flowers available year round. Then in the autumn season, I love to go for walks and gather. This time, I found some treasures, some curly willow from Hillsboro, it's just east of the city, some Queen Anne's lace from the railroad tracks, just down from the house, and then some pine cones. I'm not going to tell you where I picked those up because I don't want anybody to come get them. They're so perfect. And then some foliages from Silverton, Oregon. It's south of the city. A friend of mine, Dave Groats, has a nursery, Peace of Mind Nursery, and he grows the most wonderful conifers. And I grabbed a couple of them. Beautiful variegated Alaskan cedar and a Japanese cedar that has these pods. It's Sekon Suko. Great name, but I like to call it Japanese cedar. It's a little bit easier to say, but look at those pods. These materials added in with the florals going to be fabulous. To prepare the pine cones, I use a six inch wood wired pick and just wrap that around in between and then twist it and you've got a perfect stem to insert in the arrangement. My container I have filled with pre-soaked mixed with flower food, floral foam. It's all wet, it's ready to roll, a little bit of water in the reservoir, taped it into place securely so that it's going to stay put. Then I add my base materials. I'm going to start with the wonderful Japanese cedar. Now when I deal with larger branches, I use a ratchet pruner. It makes it a little bit easier. And then to make sure that it drinks well, go ahead and whittle the ends briefly. That way you can place it right in. And some of the Alaskan cedar, again, cutting it with the ratchet. Removing the lower branches, whittling, place it. And then, of course, you can go ahead and add the broadleafed foliages as well, like the fatsia, to get some interest, maybe terracing them. and some ruscus, getting a lot of variety to really capitalize on that Bespo style. Adding in the beautiful seasonal flowers then, some celosia, so wonderful, bringing in some nice texture, bringing some things down lower, making sure to help conceal all the tape and all the mechanics. Then the brighter flowers, things like the hydrangea, keeping them anchored towards the center to help build a strong accent area. And getting them inserted deeply so that they'll drink well. And of course, bringing it around to the back. You don't want it to be one-sided. Keep it full and natural all the way around. Tucking in the sunflowers. And of course, some beautiful roses. And just filling in till you get the shape that you would like. Once your form is complete, here my asymmetrical, fill in with more of the autumn treasures. Maybe some rose hips. The wild Queen Anne's lace. It come up a little bit taller since it's so lightweight. Maybe even a little bit of leucodendron. Another wonderful autumn texture. Filling in, enhancing, and adding that autumn touch. To extend the life of the design, be sure to spray the whole thing with Crowning Glory. It locks the moisture in, seals it, so that it will last and last and last. Then adding a little bit of fabulous movement with Curly Willow, just giving it a cut. And then tucking it in so it just comes and reaches over, 
adding a little bit of whimsy and elegant movement to the design. Maybe a piece on the other side. And then even bringing them and fastening them back together. You can see adding foraged materials, even like the pine cones, makes an arrangement so special. And having the fabulous foliages, you're going to see more of these. Dave Groats has more than 80 different varieties, so watch future videos to see more about that. But tucking in the findings, going for a hike, makes the design a little more personal, adding some of your own findings to it. So I challenge you, get outside, look in the yard, Look in the neighbor's yard, look in the park, just look anywhere for treasures that you can add to your arrangements. For more creative inspiration, check out our website, flowerschool.com. If you've got questions, you can reach me through the website or by telephone at 503-223-8089. And I'd love to see what you create. You can send me a picture via email, leanne at floraldesigninstitute.com, or post it on social media so we all can see. Just hashtag Floral Design Institute. So now it's your turn. Have fun and do something you love.